Uh, new shit. We came together with a calculation, you and I. We are doing what is logical here. We are conducting a controlled experiment. See, we added these factors and we mixed them together and now we're standing back, watching, waiting for something real to fall out of this calculated potential. And as I wait across the table from you, watching the beaker through my goggles, I realize we're doing it wrong. I wonder when you'll notice. Shit, maybe I'll have to say something. I wonder what I could say to get you to stop analyzing our chemistry and start smelling it. Huh. How about we move closer? No, closer. So that our noses are over the frothing beaker. It's creating heat. You can feel it on your cheeks. It smells like must and caraway, like curried mud, like lemon zest scattered over a kitchen counter, like sweat. Can you smell it? Come closer. No, closer here. You need to know the texture of this mess we're making. I don't care if my fingers are contaminating your experiment. This is our experiment, and it's got no place hiding in the beaker in your mind. Nothing will fall out of your thoughts if you keep them so neat and organized. Take those thoughts and throw them at the walls. Let them splash across the kitchen floor. Watch them ooze down the cabinet doors. It may look brown and bubbling now, but just wait till it starts hitting shit. Trust me, this stuff is usually crimson and violent. I've never seen it so tame before. Love is messy and monstrous and mobile, and it's not gonna grow right in a controlled, ex controlled environment. This shit doesn't belong in a beaker. You can't analyze this. It don't work that way. Here, let me show you. <laughs>